murder really means to live life golden Yeah, we're golden, baby girl, we're golden Yeah, about to see it shine, cause we're golden Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna do yet another magic trick. In this video, we're gonna install iOS 7 on this iPod Touch 4 generation. You heard me right, iOS 7 on this iPod Touch 4 generation. You may be wondering, wait, does iOS 7 only able to run lows on the iPhone 4? Yes, is the answer. But we're gonna do some abracadabra once again. We're gonna do some magic tricks. We're gonna install iOS 7. iOS 7 on this iPod Touch 4. You wanna find out how to do it? Let's go. Okay, so before we start the tutorial, I would like to give a big shout out to Ralph0045. He is the man that behind this installing, he is the man that cracked the code to be able to install iOS 7 on this guy. And also Josh from 91 Tech for the files that I put in the description so you guys can quickly download it and also follow along this journey. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you have to connect your iPod Touch 4 to the computer. Once you connect your iPod to the computer, now you're gonna go to DFU mode. So we're gonna press the power and the home at the same time. So we're gonna press it 1, 2, 10, that go to the power button and keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. Okay, so once you put your iPod in DFU mode, we're gonna put it again in pawn DFU mode. Now I put the file in the description for the pawn DF on how to put the phone on the iPod or the pawn DFV mode, but it's only working for Mac. So yeah, I forgot to tell you guys earlier that this method is only working for Mac. So Windows users, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so next after you download the file, which is this guy right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to terminal, I'm gonna type in CD and just drag the file right there, and I'm gonna press on enter. Okay, next we're gonna type in dot slash iPod. I don't know how to write iPod. See how 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 terrible am I, man? <laughs> DFU dash P and then press enter. Okay, so you can see right there the device is now in pawn DFU mode. Gotta press not now in here. Okay, so once your device is pawn DFU, we're gonna open up Mr. iTunes. So we're gonna open up Mr. iTunes and it will say we'll detect a recovery mode. And now we're gonna press, we're gonna, now we're gonna go back to the iPod. We're gonna press an option restore. And we're gonna go to the custom 7 IPSW again. Thanks to 91 Tech for the files. And we're gonna go to this custom IPSW that Ralph created for us, which is the iPod 4,1, iOS 7, mm -hmm. iOS 7, not iOS 6, yes. So you can see the, the magic trick is real. Okay, so we're gonna press on open and we're gonna wait for it to restore. Okay, so meanwhile, while your iPod is restoring to the custom iOS 7 IPSW firmware, we're gonna create a custom server for the future restore to work. Okay, so we're gonna right click here and on terminal and click on the window. Now I'm using uh, another computer here. So we're gonna open up terminal, we're gonna type in CD and drag the key server from the custom 7 IPSW folder. Okay, then we're gonna click enter. Okay, once we inside the folder, we're gonna type in sudo python-m and let's type in exactly what I said or you can copy paste it from the instruction text once you type all of the command now let's click enter and enter your Mac password okay so basically once you see the serving HTTP blah 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 just leave this window open also as the iPhone DFU terminal window open okay so once your device is booted to pawn DFU we're gonna go ahead and open up another terminal window Right click, new window, and as you can see here, I do open up the instruction text just for a little help. Thanks to Mr. 91 Tech for creating this little instruction text. Okay, so once the new, the new terminal window is open, we're gonna type in CD, and we're just gonna open up this folder and drag the future restore inside the terminal window. Okay, once we're inside the folder, I'm gonna go ahead to the instruction text, and I'm gonna hit, uh, go ahead and copy this little text, which is future restore, you spawn the FU, and so on and so on okay but we're gonna make some more some customization on that so we're gonna delete this little text here okay and now we're gonna go ahead and go to this which is we accidentally rename it for some reason so make sure you have little i okay so it recognized it <laughs> okay so we're gonna go ahead and click get info and we're gonna and we're gonna copy every single text that is on this weird text right here okay so copy it and paste 
Okay, so once you put once you paste that, I'm gonna add another string, and I'm gonna go ahead and and just make this little extension and name it extension, and just copy every single thing and make sure that I is copied right there. Okay, because the last time I tried it, it doesn't copy the I and it's failed. Okay, now we can click enter and it will work. And see there, we're still with Razor data and it will start loading up. Okay, so let's just wait up. Now again, and aside of it being very buggy, it is also very slow. Much, much more slower than iOS 7 on the iPhone 4, right? iOS 7 on the iPhone 4, see, usable. This one is even more laggier than the iPhone 4. And even sometimes iTunes recognize this iPod as iPhone because again, this is an iPhone 4 IPSW customized by Mr. Ralph0045. Now look at that, man iOS 7. Look at that. Let me slide to unlock to do, reveal the magic. Oh, oh, does it crash? Oh, look at that slow. Okay. Boom. Look at that. iOS 7 again here. The iPod Touch 4 generation. Look at that. You can still can see the same device. Okay. Same device. Look at this. Look at this, man. The magic work, man. Abracadabra. We got iOS 7 on this thing, man. Apple will be hating this thing, man. Once Apple saw this thing, and hey, you got iOS 7, the iPod 4, man, that thing is illegal. <laughs> okay, let's open up the control center. You can see there the, the gray control center for the iPhone 4. Basically, this is an iPhone 4 IPSW. That's why you see the phone app. It will not open up anything. You can see, let me just open it for you guys here. The phone app will just not work because this is actually an, iOS, an iPhone 4 iOS 7 IPSW customized by Ralph0045. Okay, okay, so we can see the slow animation but because it's 7.0, not 7.1. Again, to prove it to you guys here, look at that. Open up, look how long it is to open up the sub menus, man. <laughs> okay, about. Oh my god, <laughs> it's very slow. Okay, you can see there it says an iPhone 7.0, 7.0, and you guys can take the serial number and make sure this is actually an iPod 4. Okay, so there you go. Now you can unplug it and oh, screen problem and play around with it. You can see here, camera is not working and front camera also not working. Nothing works. So again, I told you just to play around and I can see here, Wi-Fi also does not work. As you can see there, it's grayed out. So, and of course, Bluetooth doesn't work. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That is iOS 7.0 on the Apple Touch 4 generation. Like, we cannot believe this happened, and it actually happened, so at least we kind of know now why Apple is not implementing the iOS 7 on the iPod 4. I mean, look at this, man. It's slow. It's very, very slow. Now, of course, as I said, it will be crashing every once or two minutes, so I maybe can show you guys when it crashes, so... Okay, so as you can see here, my device just crashed. I mean, look at that. It looks pretty scary, right? Alright, so... Let's recover this thing from the dead. Okay, so your device just crashed on iOS 7. As I said, it is unstable, okay? So here's a way to reboot it. Basically, your iPod will come, will come back to recovery mode, right? So we're gonna put it back to DFE mode again by pressing the power and for 10 seconds and home button. For 10 seconds, you can watch the previous, you can watch a couple of minutes back on how to put it in DFU mode. Okay, once your device at DFU mode, we're gonna go to the iPod DFU window and run the command of the dash P. And again here, before you rerun this, you have to have the server open up. As you can see here, I do have the server in the background. So again, remember that you have to have the little server turned on before you can do this, alright? Otherwise, the future restore will not work, okay? So let's just rerun the command again. Okay, guys, so thank you guys for watching this video. I mean, this is crazy, man. We can run iOS 7 on the Apple Touch 4G. If we live in 2013, man, this is, will be, we will we, 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 we be something that, in that day, man. So, again, thank you to at Ralph0045 for the method and Mr. Nani One Tech for actually providing the files and the first one who made the tutorial. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.